happens with women too, because I know a woman that was ups. Was up. This bull nigga was ups all her girlfriends. You hear me? Oh, and she is the finest. Oh, baby, you're the finest, the finest I see. Well, hello there, love bugs. Hello there, Bellas. If you have not already done so, please remember to like, share to Facebook, subscribe, and visit uptopbeauty.com for these Miss Chi Chi shades. And if you are not already a part of this book club, please hit the Patreon link below and or the join button here on the YouTube and for a small monthly fee of $5. You babies, yes, you can be privy to all the shenanigans before the YouTube gets it, if the YouTube gets it. Now, book club members, paying book club members, I've just told you what the next book is going to be, okay? Shortly, I'm going to be releasing a list of the books for 2023. My goal is, y'all, is a book a month. That's my goal. Okay, and now it's 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 hurting me. I ain't gonna lie, but it's so many books out there that I want to read, and it's books from last year that were recommended by the uh, book club that I hadn't got to. So I'm trying to make that happen for you all now. So um, if you haven't already done so, go on over there to the Patreon or the. Um, community wall here on YouTube so you can see the next book. That was an executive decision. Okay. I know you like, ain't nobody vote on this, but listen, we have to make this book club renowned. Okay. I okay. want people to know us when they see us. I want, even though we already have like uh, celebrities coming in my DMs telling us that we're doing a good job, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I want it to get to the point where celebrities come to us and say hey can you review my book and then i take it to you all and say such such want us to review the book what you think now let's continue talking about jackson family values what's the lady name peggy maldonado not a jackson if Catherine was ineffective in getting Leah's butt out of the front door, Joseph was positively disruptive. He loved the fact that Leah was around because it kept things out of kilter, which worked to Joseph's advantage. Since I had effectively been replaced by Leah controlling Jermaine's business dealings, what? Jermaine let a thief run his business? Joseph saw yet another opportunity to exercise some amount of control. As long as she got her room and board, Leah was everyone's friend. Every time I said, Leah, get out, Joseph would shut me down by reminding me that it wasn't my house. It ain't, girl. And you technically ain't married to the Jackson. We want Leah here. She's staying, he'd say, just to see how upset he could get me. And the father of my children would be cheering him on. Yeah, daddy. Yeah. Tell Abby sit down. Even mm. with Jermaine's increasing hostile attitude, I was convinced that our relationship wasn't at the root of the problem. I laid more of the blame on Jermaine's ruffled ego and lack of work. Surprisingly, he announced he had made a deal on his own. While I had been peddling projects around Hollywood, Jermaine had been trying to do the same. His goal was to become a big-time producer and director. To that end, most of his projects were movie scripts. Unfortunately, they weren't particularly good ones. Not only didn't he have a bite, he didn't even have a nibble until the day the development executives at NBC took a liking to a show called Jackson Family Honors. Y'all, I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. Y'all remember it? Jermaine's concept was simple enough. 
He will put on a two-hour primetime special that would basically be a Jackson's award show. The honorees, the Jackson family. As crazy as it sounds, the idea was to have a Jackson show that patted the family on the back. That was the original concept NBC sent into development with the ultimate sale hinging on appearance by Michael, of course. Yeah. Jermaine, we'll give you anything you want as long as you can get the Michael Jackson around here. The entire show sounded so narcissistic. It does. It does. I mean, what uh, you want to give yourself an award? Let's create a show where I can give me an award and all my brothers and sisters, the rest of them. Oh, and Michael too, and Janet too. I asked him if he didn't think that perhaps it seemed a bit self-serving to give the first Jackson Award to his father. He thought about it and agreed that I might have a valid point. When I suggested that Barry Gordy would be the far more likely, not to mention interesting, recipient, Jermaine said he would consider it. Jermaine wasn't the only one dishing it out in heavy doses. Across the country in New York, Latoya had made the news once more, this time as an abuse victim, herself at the hands of Jack Gordon. Latoya called 911. When the police arrived, Jack, was carted off to the nearest police precinct and charged with two counts of second-degree assault before being released on his own recovery. Latoya was rushed to Lenox Hill Hospital for treatment of the cuts to her face and contusions to her legs, arms, and back. Catherine dropped everything and headed immediately to New York. She wanted her daughter to come home. None of the family's efforts made the slightest impression on the sister black sheep. In the aftermath of the attack, several points became clear. Latoya had had a kitchen knife in her hand and Jack said she was going to use it to attack him. Latoya said she picked the knife up in self-defense. Also, Jack was being treated for inoperable cancer and his behavior, according to LaToya, was a reaction to the painkillers he was feeling. LaToya refused to press charges and refused to see Catherine, whose pleas for a reconciliation away from Jack Gordon fell on deaf ears. LaToya remained convinced that she needed Jack for guidance and not even his physical abuse would sway her mind. LaToya's older sister, Rebe, remained silent during the entire ordeal, which surprised me. Rebe had always impressed me as the Jackson daughter with the most compassion. It was Rebe who had befriended Giovanni, and it was Rebe who was the first Jackson to extend herself to Alejandra after she became pregnant with Randy's first child. Because we got sense. Even when the mother don't have sense, we got sense. Okay? Because sometimes the oldest daughter has to parent the mammy and the siblings. Latoya's older sister, Rebe, remained silent during the entire ordeal, which surprised me. Rebe had always impressed me as the Jackson daughter with the most compassion. It was Rebe who had befriended Giovanni, and it was Rebe who was the first Jackson to extend herself to Alejandra after she became pregnant with Randy's first child. Rebe and her husband, Nathaniel Brown, a fellow Jehovah's Witness and hardworking driving school operator, had married when she was 18. After 27 years of marriage, the only complaint they seemed to have was the money was tight. They would often come to Havenhurst as much to raid the refrigerator as to visit. Whenever Catherine saw them coming, she would say, here comes the vultures. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, what? Catherine, you dirty bitch, you. Oh, if that is true, oh, Catherine, you ain't. Listen, it was times that I was outside of the house, you know, when I had my struggling times. Man, my mother would be like, Nene, just take whatever you need in the refrigerator. I'd be like, Ma, I can't tell what you gonna eat. My mother didn't care. Okay, my mother was like, you my daughter. I'm glad that you out there. You can always come back if you want to. I told you I was, you know, after a while I was a mommy's baby. Okay, maybe because when I was younger, I was like mommy's grown up. 
that was taking care of her baby. But as I got older, my mother was always like, Nene, come through, the, get get whatever you need. You hungry, baby? Tell me what you want. You coming over tomorrow? I'll make your fried chicken for you. That's how my mother was. For Catherine to be like, uh, here come the vultures. Oh my God. Randy had begun an affair with model Paula Barbary, which ended as quickly as it began. Paula would later become O.J. Simpson's girlfriend and get caught up in his murder trial. Having lost his condo on Wilshire, Randy moved into the Havenhurst house, settling into the upstairs den. He was still in the process of divorcing Eliza, who was now living in an apartment with their daughter, Stevanna. Despite their divorce proceedings, Randy would still occasionally sleep with Eliza, contributing to the ebb and flow of their love-hate relationship. No, he was contributing to her ass not going down to the child support and, and filing child support on his ass because you know that's what you ninjas do. Okay. You love me? I love you, girl. I love you. I love my children, too. Ooh, ooh, don't ever get the, the white man involved with us, baby. We don't need no white man to control us and tell us what to do, baby. Ain't that right? Yes, Randy. During one of the ebb phases, Randy managed to get himself arrested. When Eliza sued Randy for divorce back in 1990, she had pressed civil charges against him for spousal abuse, and he was placed on probation. In late 1991, he missed some of his counseling sessions, violating the terms of his parole. He was hauled back into court where Catherine made an emotional plea for the judge not to throw her son in jail. Whatever she said must have worked because rather than go to the big house, Randy was committed for 30 days to the Pine Grove Mental Hospital for domestic violence counseling. I didn't even know they had a such, but I'm glad they do. And they need to have more of that because a lot of these men is real angry. It happens with women too, because I know a woman that was ups. What? This bull dagger was ups all her girlfriends you hear me oh and she is the finest oh baby you're the finest the finest i see thee. oh baby you're the finest the finest one for me the first time i seen her i fell in love okay but that bitch needs help while he did receive counseling the 30-day confinement wasn't exactly a punishment he had his own private wing and our cook took him special meals every day, complete with appropriate wine. And members of the family were allowed unlimited visitation. Even so, Randy learned a valuable lesson. Somehow, the stay in the mental hospital seemed perfectly in character with the romance and marriage that was a complete melodrama from the start. Randy had met Eliza in a nightclub, and they were married before a justice of the peace, both dressed in sweat clothes. After she filed for divorce, but before he moved out of his Wilshire Boulevard condo, Eliza would block Randy's car and pick it in front of the building holding a sign accusing him of being a deadbeat dad for failing to pay child support. But Eliza and Stevanna weren't Randy's only concern. His on-again and off-again girlfriend, Alejandra, Louisa, and their daughter, Genevieve, had left the country and were living in South America with Alejandra's mother. It was hardly a vacation for them. Alejandra's mother was a convicted booger sugar dealer who had served time in a California state penitentiary. After she was paroled, she fled the country and went back to her native Colombia. Nigga, what? What? What is her mama? Is her mama Griselda Blanco or the cocaine godmother? What? 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 When I when tell you, them Jacksons is full of drama. Listen, okay, listen. The Jacksons, they on tour right now, and it's just three of them. I think it's Rant. No, it's it's Jackie, it's Marlon, and and Tito. Okay, ain't no Randy there. All right, they they on tour like doing shows in Vegas and you know and little spots like that. Okay, knowing that 
that Randy's baby mother is a Colombian drug dealer, I wouldn't want to be near his ass either. Because, see, the mother may get mad and throw some things at Randy, and I might get hit, okay? What the fuck? Girl, you are giving up way too much tea, girl. Peggy, that's dangerous, girl. Are you crazy? You you exposing the girl? Mammy is a Colombian drug lord, girl. Is you <laughs> Randy didn't discover that there was a Randy Jr. until several weeks after Alejandra left town. He flew down to retrieve Alejandra and their daughter, but had to leave baby Randy behind while the intricacies of his dual citizenship were worked out. Several weeks later, with paperwork in hand, Alejandra and Randy returned to Colombia to be reunited with their infant son. And, and now I see because JJ, and now I see because JJ liked the drama. And what more drama could you get than sleeping with your uh, brother's baby mammy whose mother is a Colombian drug lord. The arrival of Alejandra, Genevieve, and Randy Jr. at Havenhurst was a blessing for me. Girl, this girl don't even know what's about to happen. You can tell, look at her. She rich. She, oh, she is, oh, girl. Oh, that girl. She about to fuck your baby daddy, girl. She about to get your baby daddy, girl. Alejandra was someone with whom I could talk about anything. Girl, did you talk about Jermaine Jackson's sex? Did you do that, girl? Did you talk about the strength within him? Oh, my God, girl. You don't even know what's about to happen to you. I was speaking with Randy and Alejandra one afternoon when Jackie arrived at the house unexpectedly. He seemed withdrawn and upset, and I soon learned why. He and Randy told me that they knew for a fact that Jermaine was sleeping with Leah and that it had been going on for some time. Jackie said he had seen Jermaine and Leah in Jermaine's car at Balboa Park one morning. No news there. They weren't there every morning to jog. See, she don't care no more. Danger. Men, if the women you love or the woman you love, here I go, the women you love. If the woman you love don't care anymore. Danger. The windows were th and, and hold the fuck. Hold on, Jackie. Don't you cheat on your wife? This is this this right here shows that there is no brotherhood within the brotherhood. Jackie, you a bigger cheek than I am. You 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 sleep around on your women's constantly. Okay. In the book, she said Jackie's girlfriend at the time. Jackie be having women's everywhere. So now you feel bad that your brother Jermaine has a uh uh has uh the African princess Leia Bungo in the car hunching with him? You feel bad about that? You don't have no there's no uh what is that man code? No brother code? Now I see why there is no trust in the family. Oh, that's dirty, Jack. Jackie, you dirty as shit. You dirty, you dirty boy. The windows were steamy, Jackie continued. He didn't have to say more. Randy backed up his brother's story. Randy? Bitch, he even worse. He's even worse. <laughs> Randy backed up his brother's story and added that the cook had told him he had seen the two of them coming out of a motel on Ventura Boulevard on his way to work. Thank you.